hey folks uh, if you like what we're doing on this channel uh, please you know click the like button it just takes a second really help the channel grow uh, subscribe would be wonderful let us know in the comments what you like don't like what you'd like to see coming etc thanks for watching these are all the parts we need to do the uh, plug. You've got the uh, five pieces, which are the 3D printed parts. You've got a bunch of little pins in them to key them all together. And you have a carbon fiber arrow to the right there, which is to hold it all straight. First thing we need to do is put the carbon arrow through the uh, hole in the first part. Then we're going to add the alignment pins, which uh, align everything plus keep everything together and nice and strong. Once we've finished inserting the pins with CA in all the uh, five parts, then it's simply a matter of adding some epoxy to uh, the two halves of each part. And then we're going to clamp them together, then carry on sliding onto the arrow and just keep going until we've got them all done. If your clamps are not long enough, uh, the alternate method is what I'm showing in the video here. Uh, just put the two parts together, no matter what kind of parts they are. Use some uh, masking tape, not the uh, painter's tape, but the real sticky stuff, the regular stuff. And put some long pieces on, put some tension on the tape to draw the parts together. And for as long as you got it front and back, you shouldn't have any uh, distortion. However, check it with the straight edge, that's what I'm doing here. One of the reasons why I like to use the foam glue, especially when I've got, you know, like uh, the arrow going through the center, which holds everything really uh, stiff and straight, is that it's much easier to uh, remove and to sand than epoxy. In this case, I would just prefer the foam on these big flat surfaces. This is the opposite side of the wing and I'm just repeating the procedure I did on the front side, or in this case, the top. One of the uh, tricks you can use when you're using this expandable glue is to just run tape across the joint and it will reduce the amount of foam expansion that comes through the joint. So it's less sanding, less cutting, etc. One thing I always do is uh, keep using uh, a straight edge or a visual view with your eyeballs uh, to keep things straight and so uh, you have no twist. One tool in the shop I use often is uh, these lead one pound weights. I use them to uh, just place on top of things like wings or long uh, flat surfaces that you want to keep straight during the cure. So in this case, I've cleaned the bench off. There's no bumps underneath. And I'm just putting the weights on uh, until everything cures up. Having checked the wings several more times with the uh, long straight edge, uh, let's take a look at uh, what we have to do now. So obviously we have to put some filler in there. We have some more sanding to do. These 3D prints don't come out very good at all. I print at 0.3 resolution on these wings, otherwise it would take a day to print each segment. Next thing I do is use the uh, DA sender or orbital sender, I guess. Uh, I use the uh, 80 grit paper on PLA because anything finer actually uh, heats the PLA up and burns it. So you end up with hot plastic where the 80 grit doesn't do that. So uh, I just go over it very lightly just to get the high spots off, as you can see in the video. One tool I definitely recommend is this DeWalt uh, DA sander. Uh, it has no vibration to it because it's uh, counterbalanced, unlike most of them. And you do not get any fatigue on your hand when you're uh, using it. I've used it for hours on end without any fatigue whatsoever. Once the initial sanding is done, I recheck all the uh, surfaces with the uh, three foot straight edge i put a light behind it and look for the gaps and uh, this will give me an indication of where i need to put some filler or maybe some more sanding due to the wing 
plug being a 3D printed part, I want to uh, put a good sealer on which will help bind all the layer lines together. Uh, also to act as a filler for all the, uh, the layer lines. <laughs> so what I do in this case, I'm using a polycrylic, uh, which is water-based, and I mix it with uh, microspheres until it's about the consistency of mayonnaise, as you can see. And then I just simply squeegee it out across the entire wing. Uh, it sounds reasonably well. And, it's a, and it holds everything together and really binds the uh, layer lines together. Once the fill coat dries off, and it may take a couple, I uh, resend it, throw some primer on, send it again, and then use the light and use my pencil to mark any uh, low spots, high spots, just places generally where things need to be filled. With the combination of a light and a squeegee, I'm adding the uh, red surfacing putty. This is the putty, you know, which is uh, just a one part. It's not a 2K, it's a air dried putty. And in this case, the layer lines weren't too, too bad because of the filler and all the sanding priming. So I'm just going to try the surfacing putty right now. First pass with the putty is done, so now it's just sand and repeat. And prime and repeat. <laughs> Next is to use a straight edge with a light behind it. This will show the low spots or high spots. And then uh, sand or fill appropriately to fix the problem. And now comes the laser in intensive part. This is where we basically uh, use filling primer. In this case, I'm using a high build primer. And then it's just apply it, sand it, apply it, sand it, repeat until the surface is nice and flat. So there's no way around this, guys. You just have to put the elbow grease in. So for the flap and ailerons, it's just a matter of repeating exactly what I've done with the wing. It's uh, pinned them together in this case because the two parts are quite long. I think this together, they're like 30 inches long. So just a wee bit too big for my printer. So I've made this little uh, jig up and as you can see, it's uh, just a square uh, piece of wood stock uh, glued down to an old shelf that I had laying around, which is a nice flat surface. I'm just uh, using it to actually align the leading edge of the control surfaces because the surfaces, both the aileron and flaps, are in two halves. But they are pinned together, and in this case, I am actually using epoxy for these. Next video, we'll be squaring up the root uh, to make sure we are nice and flat, setting the dihedral, checking all the... Uh, indents out around the plane such as where i'm going to be uh, drilling for hinges later on i'm going to have these in the mold so i don't have to keep measuring all the time uh, so generally lots of good uh, little tips on uh, how to set these plugs up ready for the molds